What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Stan the Kid. We are reacting to today's react. I've been at work all day. I've been walking around the internet like this. That way I don't accidentally cross some spoilers. But let's react. Let's go right now. Sorry if Dakota makes noise in the background and sorry for the quality of this video. I'm watching on my phone. Oh god damn that's loud. Alright we're chilling. 9-4-2019 Okay, sorry. Overwatch. Okay. My question is, how's it gonna run, though? You know. I mean, it looks pretty good. New ways to play. Yeah, with the tilt controls. What's good, PC? Where y'all are? <laughs> Let's go. Glorious. Okay. Damn. Squad rolling deep. Overwatch. It's gonna say available today. Okay. 10, 15, 19. That would have been flames if they dropped that today. Like, ooh, day and date? That would be nasty. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hi, Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel. Okay. Where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? This game's gonna be fire. some mummies. Harsh sands and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. It's like Luigi goes to Disney, Disney, Disney World. Movies, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Eight players local? Damn! Most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. And break Luigi's the Mansion coins. is a party game now? Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Just and in the time Halloween, for Halloween date? That's flames. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. What? The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. What's good, RJ? Are you hyped for there this, or? 100 quests. You go play Kirby, so, Kirby, Kirby, get a Kirby. Look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. So it's like a strategic fighter. Together on one system. Okay. Team up via local wireless, or even play online. It'll be time to unite Code, be quiet. players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later to Later to die. And remember, Ooh. it's free to start, too. It's free to start. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Trials of After Mana. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, HD. Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember God what damn. will happen to dear Jessica if I die. 
This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. Personally, not really interested. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England with no sign of survivors. The hmm. fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem pocket watch to turn back time Momentum and witness mortem. each soul's last moment. You really? This is interesting. Explore the ship. So you can relive the, the moments before their death. And record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? It's an little interesting little, dynamic. Tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch here. in fall 2019. Looks good. I approve. There's a small town, town? Out there with a big. We've secret. been waiting to hear about this. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. Blech. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. Ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. It's that new game freak joint. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. They're one million and percent taking over Japan with this game. All the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little Town Hero will make a Little stand Town on Hero. Switch October 16th. I mean, it sounds good. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. I, I'm gonna need to watch some people play that one. Ball is coming Smash. To Smash Brothers Ultimate. We can finally What's up, Banjo? The state of Challenger Pack Three, Banjo and Kazooie. Release date confirmed. And the release date is tomorrow. Nine four today. Today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director Masahiro. You Sakurai. what? As a special Sagurai. The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. I'm not gonna cry. Yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. It's lit. But first. It's barely fall. Don't hit me with a new trailer. Do not hit me. What is this? What are you doing, Sakurai? Turning back time. Way, way back. Oh no, SNES. All right. Yeah, yeah. The Genesis, the SNK. Neo Geo. I told you, SNK. That leak was correct. It was like yesterday. Two days ago. You're cordially invited to Smash. Don't be late. What was that S for? Ken wanna be self? From SNK is in the joint? Oh, they're T. Yeah. 
So are we getting like hero where we're getting a lot of characters or? So he didn't get it. He sat. So who's getting it? <gasps> Ponytail man? Terry faces the fury! Now in development. Show me some moves. Alright, they didn't want to show me some moves. I'm okay with it. Fatal Fury. I've probably played that once for 10 minutes. November. I thought Banjo was coming in November, dude. I did not think he was coming out today. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. I can respect that it. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Give me Crash, bro. Can there really be only one left? Crash Bandicoot. A special announcement. They got me messed up, dude. More! Happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> so Outside of five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. <laughs> it's so it Crash has a chance, dude. Oh my god. So, what do you think? I don't even care about Regarding the rest of this. what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. I'm okay. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. More fighters? We're gonna, we gonna get a hundred in this game. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Sakurai wants to be this game, this game to be like a nine year span. You'll need some strangely this game's gonna be fire items. though. Sorry. Face a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Kirby! Happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. This stuff's gonna be the hottest. I know it's the gonna be but it's just dungeon. gonna be dope. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. People are gonna be making and dumb save dungeons. dungeons. To a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. This might be the first can play them. Zelda game I beat. Be ready. The Legend yeah, of Zelda. I've never Link's beat Awakening one. will launch before you know it. Y'all gotta be. 20. The new Link on amiibo me. figure will be available that same day. It's just not my shit. September 20th with the new amiibo. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. His might. Uh, he's weak. X he's honestly weak in Smash. The Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to really? Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Including consumable items and more equipment that can change. It's crazy the that they went full numbers. 2D or the HD. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S: Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. That's my sister's birthday. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure. Free with demos demo available now. I'm gonna have to try it. It'll be the first time I ever play Dragon Quest. I played Builders, but I haven't played Dragon Quest Quest, so. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo. You what? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Really? You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. It's kind of lit, I'm not even gonna Fire lie. characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Blech. Together, you'll wait- Krom, the bomb, he's everywhere! ...ending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. 
Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. It's kind of lit. You can pre-purchase the game later today. It's, it's basically an anime with some Fire Emblem characters thrown in. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. Deadly Premonition 2. Again. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case, she also opens a door to the unknown. The door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. This New Orleans story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? I'm interested. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles. 2020. 2020. And I'm going to say that every time that comes on the screen. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Mmm. If it's under 20, I'm copping it right after this video, bro. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Whoever you want to be. Collab online as a party of up to four. Share cloud saves between Steam and Nintendo Switch. That's fire. They do stuff like that for more games, bro. Like Minecraft does that. That's fine. That's not my game, but I, I look good. From Bethesda. Bethesda. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software. I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I've never seen a person Many announce. Many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. Doom Eternal. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Oh! For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or if Flames. you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Doom's hard, bro. You can't mess with that game. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. Brand new IP? World, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary. This is Nintendo exclusive? There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. That's kind of dope. How's it going? Next, I'll see you. New titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon, Pokemon Sword, and Pokemon Shield. I'm getting Shield. More information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. I shouldn't have done that. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous man had an iron nature. beam Among on his shoulder. Them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Why'd that EV explode? customizing your look. 
Once Custom again, swag. the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. I mess with that. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Gloves, yes, gloves. Ugh, he was swaggy. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Okay. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot what? more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. That's fresh. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. So they kind of took the Pikachu and Eevee in the wild area, thing and evolved it. You can visit it. other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. What you mean Pokemon like? Pokemon camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your that actually curry sounds turns fire right now. I'm so hungry. What type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Okay, Pokemon. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each Got a little bit of Breath of the Wildness up in here with the cooking. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is That's a weird tea, Pokemon. Complete with its own As an OG in the Pokemon game, that is a weird allow Pokemon. A trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Come on, Nintendo. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water. Along See, with this is what I loved mouth. about if it Let's takes Go. Damage in this state, it'll retaliate Some of the dope animations we had. Like, that's this flames. Is that is fun to watch. Exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword Good. and Pokemon Shield will launch they on should, Nintendo Switch. No they should stay kind of quiet about it. That's in a month, bro. I'm gonna be freaking cooped up playing well, games all winter. There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the a month day and you a half. Enjoy your new adventure in the Gala region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. <gasps> With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Tell me something juicy. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's yes! called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. We're playing Super Mario this, World. You can play a variety of classic Super NES games Ugh. on Nintendo Switch. Uh, F-Zero. Link to the past, Super there Mario World, not Star Fox, like Stunt Race FX. Stunt will Race. Be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up yeah. in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, Ghosts and Ghouls will be available for Replays. Here are the first games we plan to release. Mario Kart. All 20 of the games you see on screen. Mario will Kart. Tomorrow. Super Mario World. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Super Mario. They, they, they got a fire lineup. To Nintendo Switch Online members. I approve. Please enjoy them at no additional charge. Are they gonna do the wireless oh. controllers? Ah yes. You noticed this, did you? To recapture Please make the it USB. These games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo Dash is gonna cry over this. Exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch yes. controller. 
This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch. I'm getting that. Games. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. That's flames! Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Nintendo. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game. I haven't learned how this game works yet. Free update. I kind of have, but not really. Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your There's gotta be people who this is all they the stream and they're bomb. Player icons too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. DLC? Player share battle mode. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU. And get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local I mean, okay. mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. How are they going to release Banjo today in September? DLC and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be That's available crazy. on September 6th. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. About Mario time. and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, I mean, climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. I mean, just for the soccer. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. Soccer and just playing They're some of these in all retro and the and retro style will be to tight. Play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario Sonic Story mode at the Olympics? How? Man must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. I'm kind of my I'm more way more impressed than I thought I would be about that. The next Damon X Machina story demo will be mode here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download later today. I had a fear. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full I game. I played uh, the missions that they released a, a while ago. Game, and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report see you. that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mechs? I played the missions God, demo thing that they released a while ago. Damon X and it was cool, but I was burnt out by the time I finished just those missions. It was like five missions that I had to do. I was like burnt. I just had no Star interest. Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. What? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic. Jedi Knight 2? To stop a rogue Jedi. GG. I'm gonna be broke. Full power of the force. Be, be broke like a joke, my boys. Of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming September to Nintendo 24th. September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Don't hit me with more news. Oh, begins. Witcher, okay. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Yo, Switch by, on October by 15th. An, by uh, next and summer, all downloadable content and story right before E3, everybody's gonna be like, well, I don't have a Switch yet. If you ain't got a Switch yet, in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, 
then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Rebel Creed Collection. Pro. That's oh. two action-packed games for one great value. All past single-player DLC. And My brain didn't like work for a second. I thought it was a new game. I was like, they announced it on Nintendo? Assassin's Creed, the Rebel Collection. I see you. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your I thought your it was legacy, Paladins. You'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. I need to watch the screen tonight, y'all. Just dance, okay? Grid Auto Sport. This music is fire. Nintendo was good. Farming Simulator. Inokuni, Wrath of the White Witch. September 20th, 2019. 2K2020. 20, 20. Anthony Davis? Yo, I kind of want the yellow handheld. It's kind of fire. The Outer Worlds. Devil May Cry 2? Who at studio forgot about their EDM dreams? Cause that was fire. That was straight How's fire. Everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing. We revealed many details about the game back in June. They announced so it. They pushed it back. Are they gonna bring it back? Announced. Let's see, shall we? Say a week before Christmas, I dare y'all, I'm gonna be broke. Tom Nook. Hello there, Nintendo Direct viewers, I'm Tom Nook. You've no doubt heard about the Desert Island Getaway Package my company Nook Inc. will offer. Mm -hmm. Well, I've prepared a fun little promotional video just for you. It's called, Welcome to Island Life. Oh, it's starting, it's starting. All right, I'm not announcing any more of this. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Original! It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including really? recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. You just shake the tree, and the branches come out. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use that the pocket's bench. dirty, bro. People be getting me with it and smash, even though I got no projectiles. Nicely done. I made a flimsy axe. Use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. All right, I see you. And with those. You can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. The deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. 
We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our. I'm guesstimating it's coming out in February. In addition to the usual no March, we'll say March. Bells, you can also earn Nook miles through the Nook mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. fishing. Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. And pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. <laughs> I'm sorry. The hunting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Okay. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it One's somewhere good. else to change things up in that One. corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, storms, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. I can't tell if this is gonna be my juice or not. I don't know. Social I might put dummy hours into this. Together on the same island, can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. Eight people the in the whole same crew. Scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting gang, gang. memory? How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. What's that gorilla doing? So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. March. January, February, March. I said March, did I? I know my stuff. Nintendo hire me. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Last announcement. <gasps> Xenoblade? A new Xenoblade? It's gotta be Xeno played. See, yeah, Xeno Blade. I knew it, my boy Shulk. Unless this is Xeno Blade too. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Definitive edition. So is it, if it's one and two, I'll finally play this game. Maybe I'll have some appreciation for Shulk. Because he'd just be annoying me in Smash, honestly. 2020. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So it's just the first one? The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I wonder if they're going to do the second one at some point. Alright, alright. Okay, let's uh... Honestly keep recording. <gasps> Dude, Sakurai is a 25 minute video we gotta get in. Well, 
Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna react to that one, but we'll we'll check it out. I thought it was lit for the most part. The fact that we got more DLC fighters, they didn't even have to do that because they could have been done after this, after Banjo, this dude, and the last guy. They could have been done and like left this game alone. Basically, they could have been done and just did patches, but they got more. So are we going to 90? 95? 100? Come on, bro. That's dummy. I, My vote. Y'all know my vote. I, I think the one person I think I need to see in this game is Crash Bandicoot. Like, Master Chief's just too much for this game. There's, like, nobody from, like, Gears or Call of Duty coming through. I don't, it's just not happening. But I think Crash has a very good... Uh, argument behind him it's a console icon at one point he's made his comeback he's on the switch now he could it'd be so easy to make him a moveset because he's got so many games to pull from he's got party games and you know he's got his whole own thing just like mario it's a good time banjo out right he's probably out right now i should have been having my stuff updating but that's fire you can't mess with nintendo like next Next E3, PS5, I guess, and uh, Project Scarlet from Xbox is going to be, I guess, announced and probably released next winter. So they got they going to have some stuff coming. I'm going to get one or the other. But to Switch, bro, we're lit for like the next seven years. I think it's going to be a long console generation. It's going to be a long time, and we're just going to have ballers. We're going to... Just the amount of bangers we already got out for this console is crazy, but we got Pokemon, Luigi Mansion, Xenoblade coming back, Doom coming back, we got new Dooms on the way, we got 2K and FIFA now, we got shit's crazy bro, Astral Chain looks dope, I haven't played that, Fire Emblem, just everything, all stops are being pulled by Nintendo, and it's crazy, y'all have a good one, I'm out of here, peace.